Hey guys, it's Lindsay. I don't know if you've ever seen that post that's been going around, um, and it says, make a week's worth of healthy egg breakfast sandwiches in 15 minutes. Well, that's what I'm all set up here for. Um, I've got my muffin tin, and I am going to use the six in the middle, so I've greased those. Um, you know, you can just do a little spray. I've got my little, my little bowl here. Oh, it's got some chives on it, or some scallions. Um, that I'm going to use to crack an egg and then put some of my um, my sides in there and I'm going to scramble it together. I mean you could just crack the egg right into the muffin pan too if you like it that way. I have some chopped scallions and I also have some pico de gallo that um, I made some tacos the other day so I had that in the fridge and I figured I'd use it. Um, and you can go on to the blog cooking with friends and you can see the recipe for that as well. And then, of course, I have my eggs. Okay, I also do have some salt and pepper, some other spices ready to go. Okay, so I have my one egg. I have some scallions that I put in there. Um, I did some seasoned salt from Tastefully Simple. I love that stuff. I also did some fresh cracked pepper. And I did, I have like a Sicilian blend um, that I put in one of these guys. Love, love, love it. Um, and I love putting that in my omelets. I actually, if you saw my video on crock pot, tomato sauce crock pot, I use that in that also. Okay. Um, hey guys, don't forget to put your oven on 350. Let it preheat while you're doing this. And then it just goes poured right in there. Perfect. And we've got one. Now I'm going to make a couple the same way. And then I'll make, I'll make uh, a few with the pico. And then we'll pop okay. it in the oven. So I did six eggs. Um, and then as you can see, like I said, I did two here that I just cracked the egg in a bowl, poured it right in. Um, I did put seasoning on that one, but I put it on, on top of the bowl so it went inside. And then these guys, I have um, I have some pico de gallo. And again, you can find the recipe for the pico de gallo on my Cooking with Friends blog spot. And with the pico de gallo, um, don't forget that there's seasoning in there, so you don't need too much salt and too much pepper um, unless you just like a lot of extra all right, and now we're going to pop this in the oven at 350 for about 15 minutes. Um, they should be done. If you like these guys a little runny, um, you can do it less, but then these guys aren't going to be cooked as well. So if you're doing just, if you're just popping an egg in there like this and you're doing the whole tray like that, you can do it a little bit shorter and then you'll have more um, runny yolk. All right, so we'll see you guys okay, in a few so minutes after these are guys are done. done. And now I'll let you know, this is actually the first time that I've made them as well and... Um, it took longer than 15 minutes. My oven, um, I'm in an apartment, so my oven isn't the greatest, but it took probably more like 20 minutes, 22 minutes. Um, and as you can see, this yolk is still a little, um, runny. And this one is more like over easy. Um, but these came out beautiful. Love it, love it, love it, love it, love it. That's the scallions and the other ones were the the pico. Okay, so now um, we're just going to assemble a sandwich and when you decide that you want it, you can refrigerate these in the Tupperware and then when you decide that you want to use it, you just pop it in the microwave for about 15-20 seconds. If you like it really hot, put it in for about 30 seconds. Um, and then just top it with whatever it is that you like. At this point, you could also put on some cheese um, so it'll melt, it'll melt on there really nice before you put it in the refrigerator. And here they are. I put a little bit of um, the mozzarella parmesan romano blend on the scallion eggs and then on the pico eggs I put a little bit of shaved cheddar as soon as it came out and it melted nicely. Beautiful. Can't wait to try it.